Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a full face of Iconic London, which I'm so excited about because I've been like finding little new products and accumulating them so that I could do a full face. The only two products that I don't have from Iconic London is their concealer, which I couldn't find. I don't even think they have one. And I might not even need it if the foundation is good. It's a skin tint, if I'm not wrong and uh also the setting powder i couldn't find one but i do find that these products are very glowy so we might need a little bit of powder to just like diffuse the pores and make the look just a little bit more fantastic let's see how this goes you guys because every time i try to do a one brand review sometimes the work products don't work well together i'm sure you know that because i'm sure it's happened to you guys that you go to the store and you buy everything from like urban decay everything from like lancome and whatever and then you try to use them all together and you're like ah what is going on this is not working very well together so i'm a little nervous about the outcome of how this video is going to go but i'm going to shut up now and start misting and prepping my face i always go with a sicka calm um any kind of sicka spray that you find that has good ingredients no drying alcohols always make sure that there's no drying alcohols in your skincare if it's at the bottom and it's a primer for your makeup you can get away with it but um try to keep it as simple as possible when it comes to drying alcohols this is the glow recipe that i always use to prep my lips it gives a little bit of color it has a very 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 light um exfoliation and i love it um so we're gonna start Misting my face with this Iconic London, as you can tell, I've been using it quite a lot. Um, a little while ago, not lately, but this is the Prep, Set and Glow. So I'm gonna mist it on my face. It has a good mist. This is definitely very perfumey. So if you're not into perfumey stuff, I wouldn't recommend this. But if you don't mind perfume and it doesn't irritate your skin, go ahead. It's, I feel like it does give like a nice, beautiful glow to the skin. And you'll see when we set the skin with this kind of product. Anyways, as always, you guys, I'm scatterbrained. It's part of my personality. I have ADD. That's like not me saying like, oh, poor me, I have ADD. I'm just scatterbrained. And like sometimes I'm thinking about so many things that I just like forget to um, go in the right steps and like give you the best advice at the right moment. But I try my best and I feel like I'm getting a little bit better because I've been watching my older videos and they were horrifying. So now I have my bathroom where I can do this whole situation. And this is the Radiance Booster. This is going to be used, this is in Champagne Glow. I like to keep the packages um, for the products that are brand new, just so that you guys can see what it looks like, just in case you're looking for it at the store. And I feel like the packaging sometimes gives you like um, a nice, what would you call it? Like, I don't know. I am kind of into packaging, like if the packaging is horrible, I'm kind of like, eh, mm, not sure if I like it. I'm going to spread this with my fingers because I don't feel like I need a sponge. And let's see how glowy this gets. This is definitely getting glowy. All I'm worried about is that it's not shimmery, it's glowy. And as you can tell from my hand, it's more glowy than shimmery. So this is a good thing. It feels really, really smooth on the skin. And that's my kind of jam. So, yes, 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 yes. I'm liking this. Okay, from now on, we're gonna go in with the super, whoa, what did I drop? I dropped something for sure, and I don't know what it is. And I hope I don't need, oh, I dropped my concealer. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do this first. If I don't feel like I need a concealer, I just won't grab it. This is neutral light. I hope it fits my shade. 
um and did i say it's called the super smoother let's hope this is actually a super smoother there's nothing cuter and more uh just smooth skin to me is like my my jam like i just love smooth skin not a lot of makeup i know this looks like a lot but it's a very very thin texture and once you start using your sponge the sponge will absorb a little bit of the product and then um you'll probably end up being fine i'm applying a little bit more under my eyes because um since i might not use a concealer i want to make sure that um i want to make sure that i have enough coverage on my eyes and where is my towel here's my towel to clean my hands because oh, 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 oh here's getting on their face um all right i'm gonna use a sponge and my magical mirror from she glam which stopped working on the third day because this used to light up so easily and i'm gonna buy a new one and give it a second chance because there's always space to give a second chance to products um especially when they're so cheap you know um things can go wrong easily um higher end brands have a lot more like processing and just like people try the products a lot more than when you're just launching a crap ton of products like she glam does and like i don't know how many people try those products but from what i see this has a beautiful beautiful finish i'm not saying it's removing my pores because there is no product that will remove your pores no product like you can make them look a little smoother with a very light powder which is like my Kosas powder that i love i'm waiting on my terry powder because i've heard uh makeup artists like rave about it and i ordered it a million years ago and it hasn't arrived so i'm gonna go online and check what's going on with my terry powder because it's not a cheap powder but what do you guys think do, you, do i need concealer yes i feel like i need a little bit of concealer so excuse me i'm gonna get up and mm, apply a little bit of concealer just because i really want to create a flawless face and you can buy everything from um iconic london and just use your favorite concealer on the areas that you think you might need it and there's nothing wrong with that you know like i never almost never use makeup from just one brand if you look at my makeup bag there's always makeup from different brands because i don't love all the makeup from the same brands so nothing wrong with mixing a little bit of another product i think i added a little too much but let's see we're gonna go in back with a sponge honestly you guys i didn't film like i didn't film i didn't feel like filming today because when i woke up i saw the pictures that i have of my dad in the in the room uh they're in the room where i sleep and my boyfriend was gone for work and i just got very emotional and i missed him so much and not that i missed him i miss him so much see this looks a lot more perfected like that concealer is my holy holy grail because it's so thin but it's covering it's not full coverage it will just give you the most natural coverage and i hope you guys can see let's see see like you can see my pores obviously but they're naturally the way my pores look i just try to keep them very clean so they don't look like dark dots they just look like clean pores we all have clean pores the thing is with social media they make you believe that people do not have pores and that's a lie that's a lie we all have pores i'm gonna use the precision dual contour pot which i was expecting this to be a lot bigger in the shade medium i hope it's really good because for the price this little thing should be really good i don't remember how much it will oh wow this looks so this is definitely a contouring powder it's not a bronzing powder 
Let's look at the bottom one, if I can get to open it. The bottom one is a cream. So you use a cream first. You always use cream first. Well, not always. You can, if, if you like kind of get to play with makeup and, and understand makeup, you can see that if you're working really thin layers, you can always just mix creams and powders. I did a video on how to mix creams and powders and I can do one again with different products. I'm not gonna add a lot because I also bought a bronzer. Let me know if I'm talking too much on my videos, you guys. Like, just leave a comment and be like, can you just do your makeup and shut up a little bit? I, I don't get offended easily, you guys. But I feel like this shade is really gorgeous for contouring because there is like literally no orange base in this paw. Like, look how great it looks. But it doesn't give you that ashy look. I'm gonna contour my forehead. And what do I think of this product? Do I think this little product is worth it? Yes. I think this little product is worth it because it's so easy to keep it in your purse and you get to really contour your face. I wish this would have been the contour and this would have been the bronzer, but no, this is more contouring. So I don't know if it's too much contouring, but let's try it out and see. Don't forget to contour your jaw. It always gives you that, that chiseled look. That's why I add a little bit of white concealer over here. Not white, but like a paler concealer so that this area kind of pops up a little bit. Um, let's see how this powder works. Whew, I'm scared. This looks dark, dark, dark. I'm gonna tap it on the back of my hand. Oh, it's not that dark. No. Okay, so I'm assuming this is more to seal in the, the product that I put underneath. So it's more of a sealing situation instead of adding too much color because even though it looks really dark on the pan, I'm not even having to, oh, 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 never mind. My, my forehead is looking a little patchy, but I feel like this is more for sealing um, and hmm. <laughs> let me blend, let me blend, 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 blend. The, the trick to always make your makeup look better is to blend until you get the look that you like. And if you go too low, with your bronzer, as I feel like I did, well, with my, my, not bronzer, my contouring. If you feel like you went too low with your contouring, you can always go back and add a little bit of this concealer. And that's it. Adding a little bit of concealer on that area will lift up your face again. Look at that. See how it lifts up? I never took classes, you guys, so I'm not an expert. I'm gonna add a little bit over here so it's not too brown. A little bit on my nose. I am not an expert, but I am a makeup addict obsessed. I freaking love makeup. And I feel like this video is looking a little dark and I apologize for that, which is weird because there's a lot of light coming in. And um, maybe if I get you guys closer. Look, look, look closer. Now I look crooked. Oh, well. What am I doing? Ah! Okay. I'm definitely not centered. And I'm never centered because for some reason, there's no way to get it centered. Like, I always try to center my camera and for you guys to look at like half of the bathroom evenly and it never happens. I think I'm gonna contour my nose with this little iconic London can uh, this little <laughs> iconic London contouring thing. And let's just hope it goes well, you guys, because I am always so disappointed with the contouring when it comes to 
the camera. I always feel like it makes my nose look... What? 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 I thought this was a light contour because when I put it on my cheeks, it was light. All right. Another way to fix it. See, that's why I don't like to cut my videos because I know we all have um, little mistakes when we're doing our makeup. And I just like to show you guys how to fix your little mistakes so that you don't have to wash your face. What the hell did I just do to my nose? This is not looking like this in real life. What is up with the camera? I'm not touching my nose anymore because it's just making it a lot worse. Let's see. All right, not that bad, not that bad. So far, I think Iconic London is, mm, hmm. it's good, it's good. I'm not gonna say it's incredible, but, um, that's also because when you first try the products, I'm gonna go in with this ginormous ultimate bronzing powder in the shade um, Be Original, Be Iconic Medium Bronze. Be Iconic was not part of the name. Um, <laughs> um, let's see, this looks dark. Oh, you guys, you guys. That's the issue when you're like, this is the thing with first impressions, you know, when I'm tapping it on the back of my hand, obviously, when you're trying a brand from the first, for the first time, you've never tried it before, you don't know what to expect, you don't know what it's going to look like. And that is a little terrifying because you don't want to end up looking like a clown on camera, you know? I feel like this is a really, really nice bronzy shade. I feel like it has no orangey undertones. I feel like it is a good bronzer because it's not adding a ton of product. It's just bronzing in a really natural way. So my face is definitely looking bronzer than usual, but that's all right. I'm just showing you guys how the products are performing and yep. I'm gonna add a little bit of this bronzy shade to my eyelids as I always, always do. Oh, there's a sticker on this. That's why I couldn't see anything. A little bit of ASMR. Yes. Um, let's see what it looks like on the eyes. Sometimes I'm so tempted to just add a little bit of a bronzy shade on my eyes maybe a little bit of glitter to the middle of the, to the center of the lid and let it go. Just, just, that's it. But I don't think they have, um, I don't think they have a palette, like uh, an eyeshadow palette. So I got the stick. But before that, we're going to go with a Silk Glow Dual, Dual Silk Glow. What's the point of naming it twice? I feel like my face looks dirty. And that's probably because the first product was a little too ashy. And I might have added a little too much, but I didn't think I was adding too much. Um, it's a matter of taste. It's a matter of taste. But no, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. Okay, let's go in with this interesting product beautiful packaging but it's one of those that get dirty as hell with your fingers Ooh, i like this but i'm gonna add first this iconic london sheer blush because i like adding my creams before my powders this is like a really baby baby pink blush it's in the shade fard diaphne fard diaphne all right, for Daphne. And I'm just gonna grab some with my brush. Mmm. It's very, very subtle, but I feel like you could definitely get away with just using this 
I'm gonna add a little bit more because I used it all up on one side. I feel like you can definitely get away with using this and not using the other palette. And I don't feel like you need all the products from Iconic London. They're probably gonna kill me if I was famous and they knew I was saying that because um, I would go for this kind of um, this kind of product to blush my face maybe with a little bit of a darker shade and mix them up but now we're gonna go in with this flashy shade and see what happens but as always i'm gonna tap it on the back of my hand because i don't want to get scared well it's not coming out a lot let's see let's see let's see i'm gonna keep rolling it around yeah 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 always go up i always say that you don't have to but that's just the way that i like to do it a little bit under the eye and this whole area just looks so much healthier than this obviously it looks more exaggerated obviously but the blush doesn't last too long on the skin so if you do your blush by the time you get to dinner or wherever you were going, your blush will be a lot more subtle. So I always like to add a little bit more blush because I know what happens. I know it comes off in very little time. That's just like something that happens with blush. Not all blushes, I'm not saying all of them, but most of them. Okay. I feel like I'm looking interesting. Oh my God, and I forgot this highlighter and there's also this highlighter. My face is gonna look like, uh, I was really hoping, I, I, I know I'm gonna love this product separately and I'm gonna use them. This is in the shade Original. I know I'm gonna use them because um separately they work really really nicely but i feel like when you add them all together it's just too much too much blush too much shimmer but i mean that's also because i'm using all the products you know like you just use the power the palette the, 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 the palette that has the the highlighter and not use this liquid liquid um highlighter so it all depends on on your taste yeah some people hate liquid highlighters others like me love liquid highlighters as long as they're not glitter nation and i don't feel like this is glitter nation this is what it looks like on my hand it looks a lot more glittery on camera. Wow, that's crazy. But if I like spread it around a little bit, it it looks a lot more glittery on camera. You guys, ah, I am so frustrated that I'm still filming on my phone, which I don't mind, but I'm filming with really bad lighting and it just makes the makeup look bad sometimes. So I'm gonna go in with a little bit of the Iconic London um, highlighter. I wish I had more lighting, you guys. I definitely don't need more highlighter, but I just want you guys to see what it looks like. I'm gonna go all the way into my cheek so that you guys can see what it looks like on the cheek. And I'm gonna do a little swatch for you guys. Um, I don't know which one I like more. I feel like I never show this side too much because this is like my comfortable side and I feel like I don't show this side too much but it looks the same as the other shit side so whatever <laughs> um guys I am not impressed let's get this closer okay when it's closer and there's more light I feel like it looks a little bit more beautiful 
This is definitely accentuating my pores. I have a bit of large pores. I'm gonna add a little bit of powder. I wouldn't say, the thing is when I'm not wearing makeup, you can barely see my pores. Once I apply a bunch of highlighter, forget it, pore nation. So I'm gonna add a little bit of powder to this area and it's the closest powder because I freaking love this powder and it broke. So I need to get a new one. I love this closest powder. It really helps um, not remove the pores, but as you can see, it is definitely helping with the pore situation. And I like to add it right here to chisel my face a little bit on this area so it doesn't shine too much. And obviously on the other side. This other side looks a lot more natural. I don't know what the hell is going on with the lighting, but I think, I think it is the lighting. Oh God. I hope I'm not disappointing you guys with my lighting. I'm really trying my best getting all the products that I can so that I can give you guys a good review. But um, it's hard to give good, like really good reviews when your camera situation is not that great. Not the camera, the, the lighting. This is a sculpting liner, so I'm not using this, not the mascara, the glaze crayon for the eyes. Uh, what, did I not get an eyebrow pencil? That is a sin. I have the liquid brow silk max hold whatever lip balm lip liner mascara what I was so sure I got an eyebrow pencil and I don't have one so forgive me but I'm gonna have to use one of my favorite eyebrow pencils which is from um if I can find it it's from she Glam. And I'm so upset because I was so sure that it had every product that I could find. What is this? Liquid Brow Silk, where is, where is it here? Um, I'm upset because I thought I had every single product that I could find and I'm almost sure I lost it somewhere along the way. So I'm gonna do my brows, I'm gonna get up close just so that you can see the lighting, but I need, I need a brush. <sighs> Whatever. I always start like this and do a little flicks up there. And I kind of follow the shape of my brow. It's definitely easier when you, um, when, when you brush your brows before doing them because then you like can really tell where the spaces, the blank spaces are. But I don't think it's looking bad. Well, obviously it's not looking bad because it's one of my favorite pencils from She Glam. And I haven't shut up about it in like years. Well, I haven't been doing this for years, but if you want a good eyebrow pencil, that really just glides on smoothly and it's cheap. So you can buy like 10 of these and never run out. This is a good eyebrow pencil. Okay. There we go. There we go. Brows are looking okay. I feel like I'm failing you guys without like those few products that I don't have. And I promise you it's because I couldn't get them. This is a clear brow gel. It's called the Liquid Brow Silk. So I just hope this doesn't end up white. Oh God. All right, and you kind of just push them 
up very lightly with your finger and see the difference like i just feel like this one looks a lot better i'm just gonna fill in a little bit right there because i removed it with a little brush but that's not an issue as long as this isn't waxy as long as you don't go back with a waxy pencil you will not have a problem filling in the spots that um, got removed by the cream. But if you go in with a waxy pencil, oh God, disastrous. I just did that, um, I think yesterday or the day before yesterday, and my eyebrows looked horrible. So, um, you just need to get to know the products, get to know how they work best. What? What did I do there? All right. Uh, 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 what? what the hell? All right. Bushy brows. Bushy brows. That's okay. I'm just going to let it flow let it flow i don't know why i don't have more lighting i don't know if my lighting is failing and it's driving me insane because i want to give you guys like the real deal the real light the way that the makeup looks and it looks horrible in this lighting but anyways now we're gonna go in with the melting touch oh no with a glaze crayon, which is a glaze crayon for your eyes in the shade Volcanic. This is what it looks like. I chose Volcanic because this is my kind of shade. I'm assuming you use the stick first and then you add... Okay, let me try to use this as my mirror, like the camera. All right, it's very smooth. I feel like this is very easy to give depth to the eye. That's a little bit of a clinking noise, but like the easiest eye look ever. I'm not even doing it like in a professional way. I'm just going like clink, 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 clink. Okay, I'm gonna go with it a bit under my lower lashes because I love some brownie shade under my, under my lower lashes if I'm going for like a less natural look. And now for this exciting part, which is the glittery situation. Oh, I feel like this is the easiest eye to create. I hope it lasts because it's so easy. Let me just ruin it right now. I'm gonna do a little bit of a cat eye. What? Something's looking off. Since I, I'm not using the mirror, I can barely see what I'm doing. I'm gonna use the mirror for the other side because otherwise I'm for sure gonna mess it up because I don't know how to work like this. So. I'll get close to you guys and try to do the same thing on this eye. This is super smooth. It's not patchy. Definitely not patchy. And... Hmm... I don't know how much I like this cat eye situation. I'm gonna remove it. Oh God. <sighs> See, even people like me who are obsessed with makeup and love makeup, we still make mistakes. We still make mistakes. I'm gonna do my lips. This is a Fuller Pal Sculpting Lip Liner. So I'll do my lips. I think the shade is gorgeous. I don't mind um, this kind of pencils that are 
word instead of like the twist ups. I'm gonna shut up for a little bit. I saw a trick where people do something like this. <laughs> what the hell? What is that? I just saw it yesterday and it's like a trick where you, okay, let me finish my lip and then I'll see what I do with that trick. It's all those tricks that you see on Instagram because I don't go on TikTok and then you try them out at home and you're like, what is going on? See, there's two little lines. What the hell? Well, maybe they do make your lips look a little fuller. I'm gonna go all the way up out there and all the way in here. To see if it gives me like, my lips are looking big. And for now, we're gonna add, not the mascara, the Melting Touch Lip Balm. This is a Melting Touch Lip Balm. Ooh, I wasn't expecting this. I thought it was gonna be like a liquid, um, something different, but let's see. Ooh, it's smooth. It's way darker than I expected, so I'm just gonna smooth it out with my fingers. Let's see? I think I'm looking a little bit like the Joker with those two little lines. But I'll be trying tricks over here for you guys to just give me your two cents and what you think. Like, this is all not smooth. Like, I just need better lighting. The lighting, the natural lighting that I'm getting right now, it's not doing it for me. Like, hmm, 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 hmm. I don't know. Let me add um, mascara, which sometimes is the life savior. All right, mascara, come at me. Where are you? Here, triple threat mascara in the shade black. I think they have two shades, like blue and black, maybe. It's a nice tube, it feels a little luxe. And I feel like I might like this wand if it's not too spiky. It doesn't feel too spiky. So let's do this together. Oh, it is spiky. Never mind. But if you're very careful and try not to spike your eye, I guess you can work with it. Some people love the spiky eye, eye um, mascaras because they really do separate your lashes, but you will most likely, unless you're an expert, poke out, poke at your eye. It's not applying a ton of product. I wish it had a little bit more product just to give more volume and separation, like separation with a spiky situation and then more volume at the same time. So, Mm. Am I getting too far from you guys? All right. Not about mascara. Like, I'll for sure continue using this, but it won't be the one that will be in my purse because if I take this in the car, when I'm in the back, just like doing my makeup, this will end up Quite messy. A little bit on the lower lids. I mean, lower lashes. 
Okay, and now let's do the other eye. This is my hard eye to do because I have separated lashes like in the middle. They're like not friends and they just separate. Not always, but most of the time they just separate too much and it looks like I'm missing lashes on one area of my eyes. But this is actually make them look like they are friends. It's definitely like a dry, goopy formula, which I know a lot of people love. And I'm gonna add a little bit to my lower lashes as well. All right, and you guys. All right, I love getting my hair wild again, because this is the way that I like to wear my hair. And I'm gonna spray a little bit of the setting spray. What do you guys think? I like some products, other products, not so much, but that is because I use them all together. I am sure that if I use them separately and I put like one or two in my bag and like instead of using the two highlighters, I use one. Instead of using like uh, the two blushes, I just use one. Instead of using the contour and the bronzer, you, you know what I mean, you know? Just like don't use all of them together because your makeup might not look good. As you can tell, wow, 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 wow. As you can tell, my makeup is definitely not looking perfected. I have gotten way better looking makeup from drugstore, mascara, I mean, drugstore makeup. So mm, I just, whenever your makeup doesn't look good, just fluff your hair out. It will give you that like sexy rough top look of like, ooh, yeah, this makeup looks a little wild and I did this on purpose. <laughs> I'm such a clown. Anyways, you guys, thank you for watching. Even with this horrible lighting, I don't know what's happening, but I'm going to look into it so that tomorrow the lighting is better. And I love that more people are... Finding my videos like maybe fun, interesting, whatever, doesn't matter. I just love having you guys here. This is what I do because I love it and I do it for you guys so that you guys can entertain yourselves. I love watching makeup videos and that's why I do them. And thank you so much for your support. Every subscriber, like, comment means the world to me seriously it means so much to me because that means that i'm investing my money right and not only that the most important part is that i'm doing things right and that i am not that bad at what i'm doing so thank you again for being here i hope you have a great day and i will see you guys very soon so take care bye